Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Daniel Waskowitz with Body One Physical Therapy. Today we're going to be doing part two of our exercise pain-free series. Today we're going to be talking about the bench press or shoulder press and most specifically getting pain in the front of the shoulder either on both arms or just on one with this exercise. So we'll break down the exercise and talk about what modifications can be made to make it pain-free. Let's go. All right, so we have Austin here. Austin's gonna help demonstrate with us, but we're gonna start out with the barbell, okay? A lot of folks we'll see in here will get that front of the shoulder pain when bench pressing with a barbell. So we'll go ahead and have Austin just go through his version of the bench press now um, and see if there's anything we can fix from this level. So one of the things I noticed with Austin, which we again, will see a lot in our clinic with people with this pain in the front of the shoulder here is that his arms are way flared out to the side. So one of the really simple quick fixes we can have for this exercise to hopefully modulate that pain is just pulling those elbows in like you're trying to be a little bit more snug through your armpit. So keeping about a 45 degree gap between the elbow and the body, but not being flared all the way out to 90 degrees. So a lot of times that in itself can alleviate pressure on the front of the shoulder, make it pain free. However, let's say in Austin's case, it didn't. Well, the next thing I would want to go ahead and try is a dumbbell. Okay, so Austin, I'm going to take this from you. So now we have Austin hooked up with some dumbbells here. We're going to go through the same movement, keeping elbows a little bit tighter, dropping down through a comfortable range. And then I actually, Austin, you don't mind kind of make those palms face each other. Perfect. So this is another position that's going to keep that shoulder in more of what we would call open packed position. So it can move a little bit more freely, which can definitely help to alleviate that pain. The issue with a barbell sometimes is it's so fixed in nature that your arms have to move to contort to the barbell versus here, the dumbbell's free, right? There's no restriction. So now Austin's able to change up the position of his shoulder without that fixed position the barbell puts him in. Now, if this doesn't do the case, we have another fix. So Austin, let me go ahead and take these from you. So another thing we can try in the same position now is putting a band around Austin's wrist, okay? So I'm gonna cue him here to maintain pressure into the band and to go through the exact same motion he just was. So you're gonna go through your same motion, just keep some pressure out in that band and back up. Now this inherently might add a little bit of difficulty to the exercise because we're adding a form of resistance but this band turns on the external rotators and the muscles on the back side of Austin's shoulder. Sometimes turning those muscles on more so with a direct tactile cue via the band can then make them work a little harder, which will offload the front of the shoulder a bit. So this is another great option if you find yourself still having pain with a uh, dumbbell uh, shoulder or bench press is the band around the hands, okay? Austin, you can go ahead and rest there. So the final variation that I wanted to include because it's a personal favorite of mine, a really healthy way to work on pushing motion of the shoulder without getting that same pain in the front is what we call a landmine press. So some gyms have specific attachments for this, but if yours doesn't, all I wanna do is have that barbell wedged up into a corner where we know it's not gonna move, it's not gonna pull any funny business on us. So it's fixated into that corner there, and now we're pushing through the distal aspect of it here. So Austin's in a half kneeling position. From here, he's gonna stay stiff through his core and just press that straight forward and back nice and slow. Good. And all I'll cue, cue here is for control throughout the range. So a lot of people at the gym like to push real heavy, fly back. I want him controlling on the way back. It's gonna give him more bang for his buck through the movement. Plus it's a safer way to perform it. So just being cautious about that shoulder position, up to the side, back forward. Another really, really good option to train that shoulder pressing motion without pain. So, awesome. Give these all a try. If you have any questions, concerns, please do reach out, with, reach out to us. And if you're having any pain still or difficulty going forward, please do come in and see us at Body One Physical Therapy. We're pros at this, we love this. We'll get you an individualized plan to make you train without pain, okay? Thank you, everyone.